Now let's talk a little bit about the actual interview. Let's say that you got the interview. And I've given you here tons of questions. They're not going to ask you all of them. And I've put these questions into categories. Okay, so let's say that you are at the very beginning of the interview. Good handshake again. That's really, really important. Uh, what kind of handshake don't you want to give them? A weak one. Yeah, weak one. Yeah. And, and if you give them this little top of the hand, <laughs> it's not going to work. It is uh, literally, I went to a workshop on this, web to web. And what it does, you're not going to break their hand, but you're going to show them that I'm, I want to be here. I am confident that I can do a good job at this interview. It really makes a huge difference. If you give them this little weak t tip of the finger, what does this tell them? Nervous. I'm nervous. Yeah. And I may not want to be here, <laughs> but I'm really nervous. So, and what happens if your hands sweat? Just kind of <laughs> have, have a Kleenex, have a hanky or something, and just keep it so it keeps your hands dry. But we get, when we get nervous, we sweat. And, so, and sometimes what happens is that we, f we forget, we, we, we feel like we've just washed our hands or something. So those are the little tricky little things. Now, if, you're, if you have an interview, what do you need to do before the interview? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you also want to practice your questions. Okay. Do you know what you would wear on an interview? This is a tough one. Tie or something. Yeah, yeah. What would you wear? A dress. Uh huh. Yeah. What you want to do is dress one notch above what people would normally wear. Now you're not going to wear a uniform <laughs> if you were, let's say. Uh, being interviewed at a police academy, but a shirt and tie would go very nicely. Dress would be fine. Okay, so you want to want to be that next notch of, and sometimes if you stay out outside of the building and watch people come out, you can check out what they're wearing, and that gives you an idea. So. Before the interview, you want to practice your questions. You want to think about what it is that you're, you're going to wear uh, so that you, you are feeling more confident. Now, you're going to go in. Are you going to go? Are you going to be late for the interview? No. Ten minutes, probably ten minutes is nice. Uh, it gives you a chance to go to the restroom, get yourself freshened up again, and wait, wait for the interview. So you've gone through all of those steps. What, let me, let me switch gears a minute. What do athletes do sometimes the night after the game? What they do, practice. pardon? They practice. They? They, they practice. They play uh, games to practice. They practice, they right. What else do they do the night after the game? What do they, what do they do at the game? They watch the film. Why do they watch a film of a game that just happened? So that they can improve. Now, nobody's going to videotape you at an interview, right? But what can you do before the interview to make sure you're doing all the right things? Yeah, mental notes. Very good. Very good. Uh, it's thinking about how will I go into that game. One of my favorite, and this is older now, but um, is Wayne Gretzky. He's a hockey player. And I listened to an interview, and he does the exact same things you should do on an interview. You imagine yourself going into the interview. Now, why is he such a good hockey player with, that, with those activities? Yeah, he sees the ice. He, in a sense, he pretends he's hitting that puck into the net. He thinks the moves through, and this is what we want to do on it, bef just before the interview. Sit down with your questions. Think about what questions would I ask, and what questions will be asked of me. And so, in that way, um, I, I feel more comfortable. Now, the informational interviews that I just questions that I just gave you, you can use those on the interview, many of them, because 
uh, they're going to ask you, do you have any questions for me? So you have to be prepared. Okay. Uh, but the questions that they will ask you, let's, let's, do, uh, let's do number two. What can I do for you? You're walking in an interview and you expect them to say, uh, why did you apply to this job? And they say, what can I do for you? That kind of throws you, doesn't it? So sometimes you're going to get questions that throw you. And you can say, I was referred by the department to have an interview uh, as a police officer. Okay, so sometimes you're going to find that people who are doing the interview are not practiced at this at all. And sometimes they don't even know you're coming. And, and so they might be a little upset about that. So you have to kind of remind them. What I would also do is have a copy of your resume. Now, do either of you have resumes? Good. Nick, do you have one? OK. This is something that if you want me to help you with, I, I'm very happy to do that. This is going to be important to have, uh, even before the interview. But during the interview, you may have a copy with you in case that person doesn't have a, a copy, and you're going to give it to them. Uh, one of the questions they're going to ask you is, why did you apply to this job? What might be some things that you could say? This is something I'm interested in. Something I'm interested in. Good. Good answer. Uh, will you say, because I needed the job? No. No. Because <laughs> in a sense, you're pretending you are taking this job simply because it's the first thing that you love to do. OK, so you're going to, you're going to leave money aside and just talk about interest. Now, as a police officer, what kind of skills do you think you would be bringing to that job? We have to make this up now. People skills. Guess what? <laughs> so this is the, the people, data management, and technology. It's kind of a cheat sheet in your mind. Every time they ask you a question, that's really what they want to know about. So it's a nice way of helping you to get prepared for this job. Uh, now, Denise, we are talking, if we talk about technology as a nurse, what, uh, what might you want to tell them on the interview? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you want to also, uh, maybe you, you decide to go to school for that. You could talk about your training. And Nick, same thing, the different types of training. Uh, so anything in those three areas, you, you will build on and keep talking about that because that's what they want to know. Now, if I ask you a really hard question like, what are your strengths and what are your weaknesses? Those are hard questions. Yeah, they're tricky, too. What if you tell them some things that are your weaknesses that have to do with the job? Then you're in trouble, right? <laughs> yeah. uh, if you say, I, I really don't like people much, <laughs> yeah. then, then you're wrong. Or I don't, I don't like people in pain. <laughs> so this is where we want to think of these questions through before we actually have to use them. Now, what might be a good answer for what are your, what are your weak areas? Because that's, that's a tough, it's a tricky question. Yeah. I, don't, I, I don't know what would be an acceptable answer to that. OK. What I said once, and it seemed to work, would be, everybody has weaknesses. I chose this job because it's my strength. Yeah. And it's one of these things that just came, came to me in a flash. And you know, if they really wanted to know my weaknesses, I would not throw in anything about people and anything about data. That's basically my job. And so I would not throw in. So I might say, I, I really I could use more computer training. Because, but that's not hurting me from doing my job. So choose an answer that really has nothing to do with the job, but kind of on the edge of things. And then you're going to do, do fine. So your strengths then, what might be one of your strengths you're bringing into a job? I speak different languages. Ah, good. How many? Uh, three. Three. OK, so I'm trilingual. They love you in a, in a hospital for that. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, what other things are you good at? 
good with people and give me a, a how. Okay, caring and understanding. Can you put up with people who are kind of nasty sometimes? Yeah. yeah, so you're patient, absolutely. Actually, for both of these areas, definitely. So this is something, th this, I, I've given you tons of questions here, and I'm happy to go over them with you sometime, but it's important that uh, we are looking at ourselves in terms of how will I do well on the interview. Uh, you probably have been in a situation where you wonder, how did this person get that job? And because they interviewed well. It's not, it doesn't mean they can do the job. It means they interview really well. So your job is to kind of learn the questions ahead of time and wear the right things, come in with a good handshake. Oh, also good eye contact. In other words, look them in the eye. Both of you have very good, good eye contact, which is great because if somebody's talking to the floor all the time, uh, they're, they're not going to feel confident. Okay. So these are some things. Any thoughts or, or questions about the whole area of interviewing? Any? All right. I can't think of okay. But later on, definitely give me a call. Uh, we can go over these things, especially if you have an interview coming up. Give me a call. I'm happy to throw questions at you, and we can work on really good answers. So thanks for coming today. I appreciate that.